Everybody, look who we have here. James, it's a pleasure and an honour to have you, mate. How are you? Hello, Dan. Thank you so much for having me. It is amazing. I'm good. How are you? How Very are you well, doing? but I was even better when I saw that Crash Bandicoot behind you there. That is oh. sick. Come on, oh, man. God, you are... Uh, what? <laughs> 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 Man, where did you get that? Uh, you know what? I, I got this when I was about seven years old. Are you 32 kidding? now. And it was like locked in my parents' attic for <laughs> probably about 20 years. <laughs> and then um, one day my mom was like, do you want that massive Crash Bandicoot? I was like, yes! I do want that massive Crash Bandicoot. So, uh, yeah, and, uh, yeah, and now uh, hopefully right. my daughter will. We'll learn the ways of the bandicoot and the wonderful oh, fruit. Oh, so you're going to pass this on to your daughter? It's um, a... yeah, yeah. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> so we'll we were see. Just, we were just talking before. You got a few games behind you there, PS4 and five. Yeah. What? How many of those have we played? Be honest with me. <laughs> I'm going to have to cut the interview short, Dan. I'm afraid. Um, <laughs> so. So Cyberpunk 2077, I haven't touched Cyberpunk 2077. I've got Alan Wake 2 installed, not played that yet. Oh no, I played it for like three hours, baby was born, fell out the groove. Fair you, enough. You, you know how it is, guys. <laughs> you know, but, uh, <laughs> uh, what else is there? Uh, Dragon's Dogma 2, played for uh, two hours, once again, fell out of it. Did, did you, you know meet, what I mean? <laughs> did you meet yourself in it? Probably not. Uh, I met one. I, went, oh. I, went, I met one me. One me. Um, oh yeah, because you're a few, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm all over. I'm all over, mate. I'm mm. all over. Uh, Last of Us Part Two remastered. I, I mean, I've already played Last of Us Two, but I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to talk about it. <laughs> um, uh, what else? I think you know what. Honestly, this shelf ain't too bad. Steam Library, however. Oh, Steam Library. Steam library. Is that where uh, is I that can... where the sins are committed or where the that's, that's where the shame resides, yeah. yeah that's yep. where that's where um that's where uh, the bad the bad times exist there, Dan. Okay. So hundred <laughs> percent orange juice. I don't even know what that is. Uh Bigfoot <laughs> Quest. Uh, um... What are these games? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Castle Crashes I've played, but not on the PC yet. Uh Chicken so... Feet I've played, yeah. So James, you're in Baldur's Gate, Warhammer, fucking yes. Black Myth, but you're playing mm -hmm. 100% orange juice. I mean, uh, have you lost no, the plot? Not, it's not installed. It's not <laughs> okay. installed. Okay. It's okay. just in the list. Okay, in terms of what I've installed but not played, <laughs> uh, uh, Unspoken, <laughs> Squirrel Stapler. Why are there all the weird games? Um, Parasocial, I need to play. Oh, my God. You're funny. The Grey Hill, the Grey Hill Incident. Fears to thank you, Dan. That's very kind. Of you. Fears <laughs> to fathom. Iron Bart Lookout. Chained together. I've played a few hours. Basically, there's so many games. There's, okay. So what have I've we? Got, yeah. What have yeah. you? What have you finished this year? Finished. This year. Ooh. Um. No, well, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Dan Allen Gaming. There's one game I've finished. No. Um. It's um. <laughs> I, I Uden Chronicle 100 Heroes. Because oh, I'm, nice. I, so I did some voices on that, and I was like, I want to, yeah, I'm proud of my work. I want to find them. But then I ended up just really quite liking it, <laughs> just playing the entire game. So I did that. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Baldur's Ooh. Gate 3, absolutely not. That's <laughs> about 60 hours in at 2. It's never happening, mate. It's never happening. <laughs> Have you met yourself in that? I've met, mm, no, they're all in Act 3 now. Act 3, yeah, I was going to say. They're all in Act yeah, 3. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, mate, mate, this is embarrassing. You know what's crazy about I Baldur's do Gate play 3? Games. Yeah. Baldur's what? Gate 3, you, you, you put like 60, 70, 80 hours in, and then you get to Act yeah. 3, and yeah. it's just so overwhelming. There's so much to do in Act 3. It's like, that, it's a new game. Yeah. yeah. And you've already played 80 hours. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Because I played The Witcher oh. 3, and, you know, it's a, it's a great game. But, like, I, I, was, I was like, you know, I'm going to do everything, find all the question marks, do all that. And then I was like, this is going to the last area of the game, surely. Guess what, guys? Skellige! <laughs> I was like, nah, nah, nah. I'm not. I'm not. And I actually took a year break from the game. Uh... Then come back <laughs> and just did all the uh, the story missions and ended it. I just I just didn't have the patience for it. So do you, game. Just, yeah. do you have a game you go back to all the time? Like oh, yes. Um, Bread and yeah, butter? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, 
medieval um is one of them especially the remake now they remade it because it's just nicer with the pretty i played re uh medieval a lot growing up so that i was really into that uh so you can call me sir daniel oh. if you want so daniel fortescue <laughs> yeah so daniel allen that's a deal uh, nah. But only if you remove your bottom jaw, I want to go full, <laughs> full law, Dan, all right? Um, so, Dan, thank you. Uh, yeah, so Please um, don't. Medieval. Yep. <laughs> it's, <internet. laughs> it's Bloodborne as well. Bloodborne. Oh, you're a Bloodborne player? Oh, yeah, I'm, oh, I'm a Souls wow. boy. I am, I, am, I am a Souls. I am, yeah. Oh, wow. I like to be punished. I like to be hurt and hurt. Did you play Elden Ring? I did, yes. Not the DLC, but I did play Elden Ring. But you you prefer it, Blood and Bloodborne's your number one out of the Souls. It's it's, I think, I think Elden Ring is like arguably one of the like quintessential dark fantasy game adventure games. You know the open world, and like this the the overall vibe that they've got going on. But I understand the gameplay isn't for everyone. Like I, when I played it on PC, I I did it with the the seamless co op mod, and it was so much more fun just running about with your merry band of fools causing trouble but, what's that um so on pc you can get a mod for Elden ring called um uh seamless co-op so your co-op buddies are with you permanently in the game so when you beat a boss they don't disappear as in a friend you just yeah as a friend yeah friends oh. up to up to four four friends dude that's sick i yeah. didn't even it's know great. that honestly man that it is, is so much cool. fun so much fun man honestly so much fun and they don't yeah, even have but, it in the game yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. They're just like, yeah, you get two friends and get over it. It's like, come on, Miyazaki, mate. Miyazaki. Yeah, I don't know if we should be telling him what to do. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, Miyazaki, you may have made all this money with your games, but me, little voice actor James, he knows how to hey, make games better than you. <laughs> they need to put you in Bloodborne too. Wouldn't that be a dream? If I was in Bloodborne Imagine that. or a Souls game or a Ring game, I would... I think I, I just die like very happy i think i'd just like you know i'd be like record this noise now <laughs> and then it'd be a you know but that'd be my uh <laughs> that, the but that would be surreal and you've actually got a real chance mm. because i hope they're, so, they're always man. british really, cast yeah. aren't they yeah i know I, I know the studio who casts them in the uk yes i've been there a few times i'm hoping to get more yeah. work with you kind of need to shrug, shrug them on the shoulder next time you're there yeah and that's time as a <laughs> you know uh from software game in I mean, hypothetically, of course, I would love it to be considered for it. Uh, yeah, um, but yeah, Bloodborne is just um, it's just the combat. Like with, with Souls, I get a bit annoyed with the blocking. I'm more of an aggressive <laughs> kind of person. So Bloodborne's a lot more, you know, just about dodging. So and then the whole setting and stuff, the whole gothic horror. It's just oh, it's, it's so it's so me. So um, yeah, man, I those 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 are the two I tend to come back to a fair bit there's probably another one but i can't remember it so what um what was it like being in black myth that's pretty close to us souls and you yeah know, you, yeah you, you're yeah. a couple of bosses and characters in that game and yeah so i am um, in black myth wukong i'm the voice of yin tiger the scorpion lord uh the second prince of flowing sands and the single bladed ox respectively but um <laughs> so so i knew about black myth wukong before it it was casting for voices. I'd seen, you know, the initial uh, it was like tech demo, you know, the yes. early thing for it. And I was like, oh, Chinese folklore. Oh, I love that. So um, I was, you know, you know, very passingly in my head, like, oh, that'd be really cool to be in something like that, you know. Anyway, forget about it. And then yeah, these, audi these auditions come through from um, Pit Stop Productions. And it was like, oh, uh, adventure games set in a Chinese mythological. And I was like, sounds a lot like that game. So I looked into it and I was like, it really sounds like it. So then the issue is sometimes when you audition for something and you know what it is, there's that pressure because you're like, I want to be in this game so bad. And sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. But honestly, the um, the experience of it is fantastic because um, first of all, the team at Game Science and the recording team at Pit Stop were just you know so so lovely as they always are. And so how it went really is so we'd have when we did the auditions, the accents they wanted, there was no American accents. It was all regional British, you know, like uh, Scotland, yeah. um, uh, South uh, England uh, and whatnot. And, Do you um, read for a specific character? I, 
Yes, I read for a lot of them. Oh, <laughs> because wow. they, 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 they send over like character packs and it's like, you know, choose which one you want. And I was like, I need to be in this game. I'll do all of them. <laughs> so, so, um, so, so I just about every boss in the game, probably not every boss, but just about, I'd say 40% of characters you meet. Wow. Probably, probably or if, if, if they speak, I probably audition for it. But obviously, it's not like, oh, give me all the roles in the game. You know, I can no, do more. No, no, it's which yeah, one it's, fits it's, for you. Yeah. Exactly, mate. And they, they, it turns out they gave me two of the hardest bosses in the game, apparently. So <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, was, that um, worked out. Yeah, it, it, was, it was fantastic. So, like, um, the Yin Tiger. So I'm I'm from um, Birmingham in the um in the UK and uh Beth the uh, voice director she was like we haven't got any Birmingham accents in this game and you know you're from Birmingham and I was like I see where you're going with this yeah so um so we, we Yin Tiger knows he's big like you know buff really um you know quite large blacksmith character and we added this uh, broomy accent to him instead so he's a bit more like this that's not very bro I got more cockney there. Right. Anyway, so, so we added this voice to him, and um, dude, that is yeah, you know, it was it was great. And then yeah, and then we did that. And again, actually, you know what? That's funny. The tiger was the one character I didn't audition for. I, I auditioned for the scorpion lord and the kidding? the rat. Yeah, and they were like, "We've got another session," and I was like, "I swear, I've done everything for him." And then they were like, "Oh, we've got this other character, Yin Tiger," and I thought it's just going to be like you know, small. Because yeah, so many characters in the game, and they're like, "Oh no, he's the blacksmith." I was like, "Wow!" So that was re that was really mad as well. Just well, you know, as soon, as, soon like, as I heard yeah. him, I thought, "Fuck me, this is one of the best voices." This oh, is. Mate, you don't, I you wish don't I have to say no, that. I'm not you joking. Don't have to say that. I'm. I know I don't. <laughs> I, I really, honestly, I wanted more of of him in the game. I, mean, I I want more <laughs> of him in general. He's he's great. He's great. My, my friend was playing through, it and he's like. Because you can get that ability, can't you? Where you you can become them him. for a yeah. brief moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, "Watch this!" And I was like, "I didn't know you could play <laughs> as me." <laughs> so that was a uh, that was really cool. But no, um, so yeah, Yin Tiger was fantastic to do, and all the cool like fight lines, like uh, yeah, he goes like <laughs> smart like that. And yet we had to match it up to um the Chinese dialogue, like the timing. So um, you know, it it was perfectly done. So. Obviously, the, yeah, the Chinese language is very different to English, so sometimes you have to speak really fast. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, like that. So um, that was um, a lot challenging. of fun. Scorpion. Yeah, yeah, it's challenging, but like, because it's so much fun to do. It's like you don't leave going, oh, my God, just absolutely oh, terrible day. You know, like, no, no, of course. It's the, it's the most fun amazing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. One of the most amazing things you can do, like, as a job. And I'm yeah, very lucky to be doing it. So, like. Even when it's challenging, and you, know, you leave saying, "Can't believe I get to do this and be paid for it," you know, because there's, there's so many people out there who would kill me to be in a position to, you know, <laughs> kill me personally. Um, <laughs> to be in not. these, uh, <laughs> please don't kill me. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really grateful for it, and it's just surreal. It really is surreal. So, what about it the really rat? Is. The rat prince voice. That was a, oh, he was a great yeah. little character too. So they were like, you know, he's dim witted. I was like, all right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, cause, I, Cause I get hired for a lot of, um, yeah, like, um, uh, like deep voice. I do more deep voice characters than anything, which I have no issue doing because it's, it's very fun. So I was like, no, like, okay. So he's deep voiced and he's from like the West country. So he's got, you know, got that accent that sounds like that. And then like, you know, but he's really big. So I was like, Maybe if he like sounds like this instead, he's a bit more cowardly. Even though he's got this yeah, big mat, big mace, and they were like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we, we like that. And I was like, okay, let's start recording then. <laughs> and then it, it was just lots of like lines about like, don't hurt my car, and it hurts, and, and, yeah, stuff like that. So it was it was really fun. Then uh, the, the voice director kept on going, aww. I feel sorry for him. Aww. And uh, let me say. Hey, so did I, actually. Hey, yeah. <laughs> but I've just, I've just beat him. And by the end of it, I was like, good riddance. <laughs> 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 but no, that was a lot of fun. Oh, and, oh, yeah, we did that to scene as well. So we actually got them. Oh, we did the same for Yin Tiger, actually. But we did that to, um, uh, you know, like the, the cut scenes. 
did the stuff that is in cutscenes anyway. So that was a lot of fun as well, just getting to see the world. So when you get to see the game itself before it comes out, and you're like, wow, this is just surreal. And yeah, you knew so. about how you could kill one before the other, and it would change. Yes, yeah. they they said this dialogue's for when your dad gets killed first. This dialogue's if you die before your dad. And yeah, I was t I was told to kill the dad first by my friend. Now I know why. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit harder, but no, it was it was it's a good boss fight. I, I I struggled more with other boss fights in the game, so you know, I took myself down in two attempts. Go me. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Well, you yeah. you're a bloodborne veteran. I mean, this game's probably a breeze yeah. for you. It's not not a breeze, Dan. No, it's, it's, <laughs> there's uh, I got I was stuck on. Uh, the there's a, the bear boss was it a black, yeah the um black wind yeah. bear, I was yeah. having a bit of a rough time with with him a bit of, I say rough time but only about six attempts seven attempts but like I'm scared of the stories I'm hearing from like later in the game like Tiger Vanguard is close, and I've heard nothing but yes he, bad he, things so I'm like he Ugh. took he took me a while I actually got the bear first yeah. go like I don't know how I did it nice one man but t yeah tigers obviously I'm jealous another yeah. character you did he probably gave me the most trouble scorpion i've heard yeah yeah, yeah he was, was uh, scorpion oh. lord mate he was tough he was but fun like very fun yeah because again when when i recorded they weren't like you're gonna be the voices of these hard bosses i was just like these characters they're in the game you know that's that but scorpion lord was was great because so he's drunk you know he's like depressed and drinking and at first, I was like, "This makes me sound like," you know, they're like, "No, he's 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 far too drunk." I was like, "Fair enough, you know." Fine. <laughs> <laughs> so we, yeah, we 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 leveled up the soberness a little bit. And orig uh, originally, he 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 sounded more like this, a lot more like kind of higher voiced. And I was like, "Come and get me, monkey!" And they're like, "Well, he's like massive." And I was like, "Oh." God, you asked for so much. So um, so we, we lowered the pitch as well. And then we came to this kind of like, oh, tort-faced monkey. Get out of here. That kind of vibe. And they were happy with it. So I was happy with it. And um, and then obviously we recorded the bus stuff. And that was that. And then we were coming for the Yin Tiger session. And they were like, Scorpion Lord's back. I was like, huh? huh? So it um, turns out he shows up in a boss fight later in the game, if you don't defeat him at the section that you meet him at, if you don't break his jars, he will show up later in the game against uh, his nemesis, essentially, the boss who killed his wife. Tragedy. It's a big tra tragedy to um, Scorpion Lord. And then um, I've seen footage of the boss, and it is so cool, because he just comes flying out the ground, and he's just like, <laughs> just like pl plummeting into this bus like that. And uh, then you can choose to who to defeat first. And everyone tends to fight the Scorpion Lord first, probably because of the trauma from trying to fight him early in the game. But, you know, it Hold is Hold on. Right. So I I beat him in the secret area, right? Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. you're telling me there's somewhere else I could have versed him. Yes, so... You're kidding. What's the boss's name? Is it the Dusk Veil? Yeah, you can verse him is there. Yes, yeah, so what'll happen... What, he doesn't... So I've not got to that bit yet, but the footage I've seen is so he'll show up to fight the boss, not you. Oh wow! Because the boss is the one who killed his wife. You're kidding. And then, yeah, but I, I don't know if like it's a case of defeat the boss and then he stays alive, or you have to fight him then as well. But yeah, so I'm I'm determined to get to that because I've not seen loads of footage of it, so I want to try and get some you know, good footage of her. I'm gonna have to look. I didn't even know that, man. Honestly, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. It's it's one of those secret little things in the game. Obviously, I Shit. knew about it because I, you know, um, yeah, when we recorded. But like when it came out, I was like, they must have cut it or something because no one's mentioned it. But then, but yeah, it's really, really cool. And then, and then the yeah, and then the ox characters. Just I think like chapter five of the game. Just some of the basic enemies you fight who are oxes. I'm the voice of the ones who have like. A single blade, so it's like yeah, yeah. boy, <laughs> <laughs> basically. So yeah, so that honestly, that was oh man, it was such a great experience, and seeing the game get so much love as well is is really rewarding. Not like like obviously for myself, but just for the team as well, because you know, like so much love goes into any game you work on, whether it does well or not. So to see like you know at least it happening for some studios is really. It's really nice. It's a shame that every game does well, but that is the na the nature of the industry, I suppose. You know, so 
What did you think when you yeah. ser- when you heard it's you know eighteen million sales? <laughs> Mate, honestly, it blew me away. And what blew me away as well is the morning it came out, I had a text from my friend saying it's already got two million people playing on Steam. I was oh, like, that's crazy. <laughs> so and you know that 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 was just it's it's unreal because like i think deep down you want anything you're involved in to be a hit not because of you personally but you just you know you'd like to say i'm in that popular game like Baldur's gate i'm i'm 20 npcs you know i'm i am a mere drop in the ocean of you know talented performances in that game but like saying i'm in Baldur's gate very you know it's 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 just nice to have so it's honestly it's it's and obviously we're my praise goes out to everyone involved in Black Myth Wukong, especially you know, the people who made it, but the, the cast as well, because there's some truly, truly talented people on the cast, but also behind the scenes. It's, I think it's easy to like praise the voice actors um, mainly because you see them in the game, you hear them in the game, but the people doing most of the work are the ones coding the game and you're know, writing it and localizing it and directing it. You know, that's where all the work, you know, I, I did six hours, and I guarantee there's some dude in China in the game science office who's done like 600 hours on it. So you know, honestly, it's um the credit is due to all those those hardworking people. Do you remember the first game yeah. you played where you heard your voice or met your character for the first time, and what that uh, feeling was like? Let me think of the first game. So did we'll play if I just space. I think it would have been in Division Two. I think Division Two was the first game. The hyena. Yeah. Y- yes. So it was. Yep. Yes. Thank you, Dan. You've triggered my memory banks. Um. So uh, they did the Division Two beta that came out, and I was like, "Yeah, go on that." So um, turns out I was the voice of the first person you can shoot in the face. So I was like, "It's me." <laughs> so that is um, cool. That's so really like, cool. What straight out is that? The is that the uh, Washington D.C. Yeah, so you... Oh, you're the first guy. You're kidding. You go for the fairground, don't you? You go for the fairground. Yeah, shit. And there's those two dudes beating that body. So I'm one of them. Shoot him. He goes down. Then you get to um, the White House, and there's that guy who's like, just keep your goddamn eyes open. That's me as well. So you're like, bang, get rid of him as well. So yeah, they're just like, yeah. Give him the gas mask rolls, you know. So that was... um, Hey, that's confidence. Put you straight... Yeah. I, that was that was their choice, not mine. But I'm very <laughs> grateful for it. <laughs> um, but yeah, in terms of what you said about the, you know, how it feels, is the most surreal thing, and it still feels that way when playing the games. And my my first instinct is to instantly be so critical of it and being like, oh, I could have done that better. <laughs> what the choose that take for? <laughs> you know, like that's um because. I could probably do like an absolutely perfect read of something, but in my head, I'd still find a reason to. Yeah, to dislike it. That's my imposter syndrome coming through. But um, it's 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 the coolest thing. So, you know, I've played games my entire life, and you know, it was like a yeah, I've always mimicked game characters and stuff like Time Splitter. Oh, Time Splitter's Future Perfect and Time Splitter's Two is another uh, oh, comfort game. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. With the yeah, guns, so you, with the guns, man. With yeah, the guns. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, sorry, not um, no. Time Time Splitter's not Time Crisis. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, no, that's no, my fault. No, yeah, I, was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, it has guns in it. Yeah. And I was like, wait, I know what he means. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I um, thought you um, meant, you know how they, they had those guns that you, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I did have one of them for Time Crisis 2, though. I love that game. Time Crisis 2. So hold great. on, what's Time Splitters? I probably know it. I'm just blanking. Time, time, time Splitters is a, is FPS made by Free Radical. It's like, it's like, the, it's like a, it's a very wacky sci fi adventure. Like you got all these different characters in it. The multiplayer oh, was very, it's very, very much inspired by Goldeneye. Of course, yeah. you know, it's um, yeah, that game had a blank. Yeah. Had, yeah, yeah, it's all good, man. There's a lot of games out there. You're you're allowed to <laughs> plank a bit, but yeah, that that's what that's one of my comfort games as well. But yeah, honestly, back to what you said. Sorry, man. Um, it's honestly, it's the most amazing thing in the world that um, you know, get to be part of these things and hearing myself. It's still surreal, like. When I was, and it's not like, wow, I'm so versatile. I, I can't even tell it's me, <laughs> nothing like that. It's just, it's just like, it's just the coolest thing in the world. Cause, you know, I love video games and now I can be like, I've got my little, my little, you know, what's the word? My little bit of effort I put into that game, my little yeah. addition to the game that is, you know, personally me. I mean, not many people, some people won't care at all, but for me, it's, it's, it's massive because it's, it's something I always wanted to do. 
I'm mean, getting the chance to do something I always wanted to do, and it's it's not always. Um, it's because I've been doing it for seven years this year since I initially went. I want to be a voice actor, Wow. you know. Like, and from then I was working like working supermarkets. You know, I was a postman, and now being in a position where I can do that more, it's 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 just humbling. I don't see how you you can you can't be humbled by it because it's. I'm incredibly lucky. And my wife says, it's not just luck, though, is it, you know? And I'm like, oh, no, bit of talent involved. Oh, fine. But um, it's, it's honestly, it's just amazing. It really is amazing. To answer the question shortly, Dan, it's amazing. There you go. <laughs> Man, <laughs> but yeah, I, it's... I, in the F1 games, Yes. you're, you're the R&D operator. What voice? I love the F1. I, like, I love F1. Love the F1 games. So F1 2021, 2022... Yeah. Um, uh, so there's three R and D operator voices. So in the the my team section, I think there's one guy who's French. So he's like, "Welcome to my team." And then there's another guy who's a <laughs> great impression. Uh, <laughs> there's another guy who's a bit more, yeah, a bit more mature. And then uh, for my voice, he was like, "Um, welcome to my team. Here we'll find our way to climb to the top." Of <laughs> I remember it now. That, 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 that That's was the fantastic. voice that I did for it. Yeah, yeah. Oh I, that man. was that was. <laughs> funny story about how f1 worked out That's so um crazy. so that was massive for me because that i think that was the game that got me into my agency now because i had this you know kind of well-known you know franchise Yeah. that's f1 so um i think that's what how but um so uh that game so we're basically i was friends i, I i've been chatting with the the voice director of codemasters at the time a lovely man called ollie johnson and um I've been posting a lot of Bloodborne content, playing it on Twitter. So I was, I was always like, wow, about it, about it like that. And we were like, oh, I'd, I'd love to you know, play it with you sometime. He's like, yeah. And um, so um, I was, you know, we played Bloodborne, you know, we did some bosses together, you know, real, real networking. And then, <laughs> so we did that. And then like um, about two weeks later, he messaged me saying, listen, you know, we'd, we'd cast, we're casting for the new F1 game. Um, would you be interested in auditioning for it? Because like I don't expect to do like just have the just have the job, James. You know, just have the job. So that was that was really nice of him just to be, to at least consider me in the pile of people who were going for the job. So I auditioned for it, and then I deleted all my auditions because I had a freak out and redid them again, and then sent them off. So hold on, tell And me about this freak out, if you don't mind. uh, oh, I, I recorded so I recorded two versions of of the character. Yeah. And I listened to it and I was like, there's just something not right about it. There's just there's just something in my gut and I can't figure it out. So I went away for an hour, you know, did other stuff just to kind of get some perspective on it or whatever. Yeah. Come back and I was like, nah, nah. So what I did was I, I deleted it. I recorded it more naturally spoken, like close to my voice, but a bit more, you know, professional, you know, and, you know, whatever. Did that, sent it off and then... I uh, got an email about two weeks later saying, you know, the team all loved your voice. Would you like to come and record for F1? Because, What's your yeah, reaction going back to to, that? yeah, mate, insane. Because, like, I'm not, I'm not, because I'm not a sporty, I'm not a sporty guy. I'm not really into any kind of sports. And um, <laughs> apart from esports, and, uh, <laughs> and um, so we did. Um, We did, you know, uh, they were like, you know, if you've got any interest in F1, it's really helpful. So I was like, okay. So I watched a Netflix series called Drive to Survive. And I, I did get into it. I did get into like the kind of the F1 vibe of it. I really yeah, quite enjoyed it. So uh, I did that. And then, sorry, Dan, what was your question? <laughs> What was your reaction when Reaction. you when Sorry. you got yeah when you got that It, it was surreal. Absolutely yeah yeah mad. Because yeah to me, that was the... The biggest role I gotten so far, yeah the you that's know what the I mean the yeah the most yeah yeah that it was because each I wins remember each one's a win isn't yeah it you know at that time yeah absolutely yeah mm. every even the like say if I was like doing like Troy Baker levels of work you know it's just put put myself in his shoes for a very short moment um every to me every job is is as is as um important than the next whether it's a one hour. session for an indie game or you know like say 10 hours on a triple a game it's important to me because a team of people have trusted me to you know 
come into their project, their their baby, essentially. Their, uh, you know, their, their, their let, let me pick up their baby and take care of it for a few hours. And um, it, it, you know, it, and you can have amazing results like doing Brawl Stars. Like I'd never heard of Brawl Stars ever. So I did this audition for it. I did an hour session for it. And then it comes out and people are going absolutely mad for the character. And then you can do a AAA game and, you know, no one cares, which is okay. But it's just weird how, like, it, it's a lesson in, like, you don't know who's going to play the game and what yeah. they're going to enjoy and whether it's you or someone else. Like, I did, um, I had someone recently message me saying, because I so did the main character, the male main character voice for a game called Stray Blade. And... Mm. You know, like, it, I don't think it did massively well. You know, it come out and everyone's like, oh, shit, another Souls remake. Nah. You know, like, it's just uh, that. But, like, I've had numerous people message me saying, yeah, I really, really like your work on that game. So it's it's nice just to know that if people are still playing them, even if they aren't smash hit critical acclaim games, you know, and that, that's why they're important to me because whether it's big or not, someone out there is going to likely really appreciate aspects of the game, whether it's you or something else and the least you can do is go in put some passion into it you know show the developers that you were really grateful to be on the project which i am probably too much sometimes <laughs> and yeah so when i was you know dipping my feet to like formula one you know warhammer you know capcom games and stuff and the division as well you know tom clancy ubisoft games it's just like it's insane it's absolutely insane it, it blows my mind it really doesn't Part of me still doesn't believe it's happening sometimes. <laughs> so is the is the dream to be like, you know, uh, like a a Joel in a Last of Us or a yeah, absolutely. Know, is that mm -hmm. the is that the goal? Yeah, I would I would you know, I'd say the main goal is to be able to consistently do voice acting for the rest of my life if possible. I uh, secondary goal if I could land massive. If I could land a massive iconic role, then I would, you know, I would be would you eternally. Be, are you grateful. ready to handle it? Do you think? If you got that opportunity, <laughs> I get, you don't know until it comes about, do you? you know, I think yeah. I'll be ner I'll be nervous about any role either way. But yeah, the, 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 the main thing is, it's as an actor doing voice, like, you are not the only one doing. You you do your research, you prepare yourself as far as you can for the role. But it ain't just you out there doing it. You know, you got a trusty director, trust the writers. You know, it's all these characters that have become iconic and have been, excuse me, um, have become like pop cultural icons in their own respect, at least in the gaming world. They are obviously known as voiced by Troy Baker, voiced by, you know, um, Nolan North and yeah, Neil Newbin, whoever else. But it's not just them behind it. Yeah, credit to them, absolutely. You know, but it's also credit to the writers. You know, the um, the directors in the studio. It's a a character is a massive amalgamation of people on the project, not just one person. We can't just like just because we're the voice does not mean we are the entirety of the character. If that makes sense. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you talk about it like yeah. that because I think yeah, some I, people I, I, some yeah. people still forget. You know. Mm. No, I, it's it. It's easily done though, because obviously you see it for face value. So you're like, oh, that's, mm. you know, Troy Baker is Joel. That's it. He does it all, you know. Yeah. But then you like, when you watch documentaries and stuff, and, when, and obviously ma a massive eye opener for me is just because I learn something every time I go into the studio for any job, you see new aspects to it. And honestly, like when doing it now, you, you truly see how much goes into making a game. And voice acting is just a, a tiny aspect of it. And so much effort goes into that on its own. You know, so yeah. it's it's mad. Is there anything different for a VR role like Horizon? Oh yes, there is. There, there um, is. There were. Right. I'll just say. Well, it was mocap as well. So, ah. so, uh, so when we record that, I think we recorded the uh, 20, 2020, 2019, I think started just before yep. COVID full on hit basically, oh, yeah. and um, so. For that, I mean, it's it's probably similar to like um other things, but we had to. So um the main actor who plays Arias, absolutely lovely guy, uh Adam, uh he um. So he's obviously the gate. The entire game is through his perspective, 
but he um so we had to act to him basically when we were you know like when, when we were doing the acting the scene we've got to be like a bit closer like we're getting up in your business <laughs> you know kind of like that and then kind of everything you do if you're not the main focus of the scene i'm, I'm only in like um horizon call the mountain for the opening like well the opening more or less before yeah. i'm unceremoniously swallowed by a you know a metal <laughs> alligator steel steelback is it something like that, yeah and um so yeah but again hey, it's one way to go out thing, yeah, it's yeah, one yeah way mate, I, i'm not complaining <laughs> i got to be in a horizon game i got to be the first face you see in the game it's absolutely surreal and um is that your likeness i so i yeah played... yeah it yeah, is they did Shit. yeah they scanned my likeness into the game as well that's so that cool was, that that was weird they're like when you use your face i was like that is cool, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, so we when we were acting on the scene, like basically, the main focus is keeping the player, the main character, essentially immersed in the world. So, at, at least for the scene I was in, every action you did, whether you were you know away from the main character for a moment or not, you still kind of yeah. you gotta be aware <laughs> they, they they might be looking at you so you've got to be you know, yeah. doing your job but maybe occasionally you've been like you're on <laughs> you know, like, so you know so it's um it was all that but um i also had to learn to row a boat for that project which was fun oh wow <laughs> <laughs> i remember so he can't he can't move too much though can he no so at the start yeah. he's literally just yeah just literally just this mm. but um you know like Unfortunately, as late so unfortunately, later in the game, you can get close to characters, you can poke them, and they respond to it. But at that point, I'm you're you gone. Know, oh, what a shame! I'm I'm, uh, I'm twisted, ah. I'm twisted metal and flesh, you know. But it's honestly that's still so surreal, man. Because Horizon is just but again another project I would you know love to be. I am technically part of it. Yeah, more Horizon would be good. <laughs> Maybe I show up in the next game all scarred and got crocodile bites all over me. <laughs> <laughs> I made it. <laughs> but yeah, it's, um... I still think the PS5 game might be one of the best looking games I've played on a console. Horizon Forbidden, Forbidden West. West. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've not played that one yet, but visually, oh, it looks yeah. immense. Like I've seen a, a clip. I don't know if it's in the DLC or not, but Aloy is running to like a field, and there's this massive robot, this giant like tentacled oh, yeah. you know machine of horror just like ripping up the field and it's mm. all like you know it's not a cut scene it's just happening there and it looks it looks, it looks amazing i've just you know another game i've not got around to playing i have heard it's a bit slower than the first one but again i think sometimes it's best to play the game for yourself and find out so have you played the new space marine too because i know you were in warhammer no before it's so no. it come out come out yesterday i did audition for it i did, did audition you? for it i Do you know did who for? yeah but uh, I think it may have been for the multiplayer characters, oh, okay. maybe. Because obviously yeah. you play as Tit Titus in the game. I've seen a lot of other playable characters. So I think multiplayer ones. But, you know, you can't get every job. I would have obviously liked to have been in but, <laughs> but um, it's um it was just a pleasure to a pleasure to audition for it to be honest it was it well was... you're already in the world mate yeah. they can't keep exactly you know what I mean? you know, like who do i think i am <laughs> uh, can i have more warhammer jobs please <laughs> no you've got your own character yeah yeah yeah, yeah. would have been cool just hearing <laughs> somewhere on the planet but uh... just in the background <laughs> with me <laughs> so are there any chance of any of your black myth characters coming for the dlc you think They've announced. What are you? What are your chances? Oh, you reckon? I would. I don't. That's a very good point. I mean, I don't know. I mean, Scorpion Lord, I think, is dead either way. He's <laughs> canonically dead. He's canonically dead. Yeah, he's if gone. If anyone's gonna, he's yeah, he's gone. gone. If if anyone's gonna reappear, the, the only survivor is Jin Tiger. Yeah. So hopefully I... he'll he'll show up as a blacksmith and be like, "What's going on this time? <laughs> Your armor is terrible." <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> I can't believe that voice comes out of you, man. That would it's so funny you should say that because um oh. I did I did a job recently. It was um I don't know if I can say what it is yet, but basically it's for English voices for mask uh known mascots in like Saudi Arabia shopping centers and stuff. So you know, like so I did the voice of a, a well known ish cartoon character, like an impression of them. And they've got like a quite a deep voice like this, and they're like, "Yeah, what's up? Whatever." And they're quite, you know, like broy. And um, I walked into the studio, and the woman on Zoom was like, "So you're the one who does this voice?" She's like, <laughs> "Didn't that, didn't that come out of you?" And I was like, 
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, it's a compliment, isn't it? Yeah, yeah I, know, I, know, I know it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this makes me laugh sometimes. Um, oh, man. <laughs> yeah, but no, um, it's honestly like... How did you discover because... that? How did you discover that, like, oh, that you could yeah, do? It's a, great, it's a great point, actually, because, like, the deep... You know what it is? Because I never went into, went into voice acting being like, I'm a specialist of the deep <laughs> voice. You know, it was never like that. It's just, I think, you know, because obviously when you're as vain as me and you're always doing voice act voices, <laughs> you start to, you know, figure things out. Oh, that's a good voice. Oh, actually. Oh, I've never tried that before. You know, like, um, because mm. when I, my actual talking voice kind of goes up and down, it's like, <laughs> you know, that's kind of how I speak. And um, so, like for Dark Tide example, so we got this, you know, this um, audition sheet for it. And uh, I knew the character would be, you know, a low speaking character with a voice like this. And then, you know, I did my best, like, hello, I'm a lord, blah, 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 blah. I'm better than you. Ha, 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 ha. You know, did that kind of stuff. <laughs> and um, it was, I think it started. So I did a, a bus voice for a, 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 a side scroller. It was actually, I think it was my very first job I ever did called Wolverblade. Which come out on the Nintendo Switch and then eventually come out on everything else. And I did the voice of um the final. Uh, I did first bus, second bus, first bus, second bus, and final bus. I think, or at least second bus and final bus. And um, it was like this deep, you know, like primal voice of this Roman centurion. I was like, okay, that's something I can do, you know. And it's about learning your your limitations. So I tried that, and then like. So back to Warhammer. So we went in, we had the, the callback audition. And I was doing, you know, hello, I am this voice, blah, 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 blah. Dude, <laughs> I if I close my, my eyes, man, I yeah. I cannot believe it's you doing yeah. this voice. So, so I was, you know, I, I walked in like, okay, can you add a bit more hatred and like, you know, like, like a witch hunter <laughs> vibe? I was like, ah, okay. <laughs> so I added this kind of deep, gravelly rage to the voice and i was like pilgrims burn all in your path you know that like. and, I, and but then with that voice like because warhammer's like it's basically 95 percent shouting so then it was learning to do that voice for an hour two hours without you know like messing up your voice but a big thing i'd say to voice actors out there like you can improve your voice or figure out uh, you know figure out a certain voice but if it's physically hurting you do not you know it's not not good it's not it's not it's not good it, it won't do you any good but yeah honestly yeah it's I've just figured out like it's kind of like the jobs i've booked the deep voice usually is the the role that i book out of the ones you know i've applied for so i guess people just like a deep voice <laughs> i think it's just so, yeah. because it's so damn good it just stands out thank thanks yeah yeah i think because I think it's 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 half and half of certain voices. You want voices that stand out and sound distinct, but you also want voices that kind of blend into the world and don't you know stand out too much. Yes. So I guess it depends on what the client wants. But I am you know really lucky to have had to book roles because like uh, when I was getting a bit more work, I was getting stressed for myself saying you've got to do a different voice for every single game you do. Every voice must be distinct from the last one, and it's no. Nah. I get that you know, but. And eventually, you studio. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eventually, you're gonna run out, and also, it's subtleties are a big part. Yes. And also, like, um, yes. they they turn around, they say, "Can you give us something like that character?" And you're not gonna turn around and go to the client. No, no, I'm not actually. Mate, Nathan, Nolan, no, I'm not actually doing. Nolan North's done yeah. his voice in about a hundred games. It's just his yeah, voice. Yeah. If, 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 if it works, <laughs> if, if it works, it works. Yeah, if it works, it works. Yeah, works, it works. Honestly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's. Yeah, it's something I've never learned to. It's like the kind of the. It's more. It's more in my head than a, a common thing. You know, there's, there's voice actors out there like Lance Reddick, rest in peace. Who he basically oh, yeah, his entire voiceover career was his voice because he had such a distinct, cool voice. You know, so it's that's yeah, that's how it goes. You know, it's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. So, what are you up to in Black yeah. Myth? What What are you up to now? You're playing through. I just literally defeated uh, the rat. The rat son voice I do. I've oh, literally yeah. just just bludgeoned him and his father. So you haven't beaten the Vanguard yet, Tiger Vanguard. I'm very close, I feel, but no, not yet. And I'm not, very scared. And not the other Tiger that you may know very well. <clears throat> I no. will 
personally message you when I have got to him, and I'll <laughs> I'll give you I'll give you my uh, personal thoughts on the boss <laughs> fight. But what I've seen, not looking forward to it whatsoever, <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> Funnily enough, I did, I did him first go too. Yeah, I sound like the biggest dickhead. Wow, look at this guy. Yeah. Dan no, Allen. I sound like the biggest One banger of ever. Wukong bosses. No, no. <laughs> you know why it is? I think for me, I, I explore so much around the world that yeah. I kind of get everything I need. So I'm very yeah. well equipped for every fight. Like as well equipped as you kind of can be. Over leveled is the correct yes. answer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Over leveled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's, no, that's, the yeah. Way, that's the way I do it. Fight. Easily done though, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, check every nook and cranny as well. I'm like, when I fought Wondering White at the start of the game. Oh, like, yeah, I, he was annoying. I, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah he sure. was annoying. Yeah. I was more or less farming the enemies outside just to get a few more levels. And eventually, I just figured out his attack patterns. And then it was kind of plain saying from there. And you can also stun lock him quite easily, but I didn't figure that out until like attempt 50. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't that bad. 10, 15, 15. We'll go 15. <laughs> it's a beautiful yeah, game, man, honestly. It's, yeah, it's, it's great. Yeah, honestly, it's, it's, I'm completely with you. It's, it's beautiful, honestly. I'm, it's really surreal and a pleasure to be, you know, a part of it. So I'm really excited for, uh, what they come out with next, especially the DLC. Yeah, DLC is exciting. But yeah, in terms of DLC, um, I've got no involvement with it yet at all. Who knows? You know, Hopefully, they may, fingers they may have, crossed. They, they may have already recorded it with the base game, which is is fair. You know, it does happen, so we'll just have to wait and see. Fingers crossed, but, man. Uh, yeah. And, yeah I, man, I'm, and promise me you'll come back on the show. Absolutely. You, yeah. you just message me, man. I'm here. I'm there, mate. I've had a absolutely. I've had a whale of a time, man. I've well, had a lovely it, time. It, I feel like it goes too quick these days. These chats. It does. I mean, I, an hour goes I, pretty quick. I find. I looked at the clock and I was like. <laughs> what? It's been an hour. <laughs> no, honestly, mate, it's been an absolute pleasure. I've had a, I've had a lovely time, and uh, yeah, Thank I don't, don't want to, don't want to end up having your your channel just James Alexander. He's back again. He's back again. He won't leave. You know, like it's gonna be like that. <laughs> no, <laughs> That's no. Be all your videos from now. On. That'd be great. But, what what's next to Crash there? What's that face I'm seeing? By the way. Oh no. Yeah, it's come up. Oh oh no. Yeah oh, no. yeah yeah. Okay, Here hold on. <laughs> hold on. Uh. Oh no. Uh oh. Okay, so. What's the story? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, someone gifted that to you, or what? What are we. I wish it was that. I wish it was that. <laughs> I really do. So, <laughs> is there a date in this so I can figure out when I made this very smart purchase? I bought it for my wife as a Christmas present. Oh, Think, that's, thinking, that's thinking it would be like funny, genius, genius tier Christmas gifting. Yeah, she was like, "What the hell is this?" <laughs> <laughs> and rightfully so. That's but, what uh, mine would yeah. be the same, honestly. <laughs> oh, when, that's uh, fantastic. It comes, it, when, when we do streaming, it tends to come out for whatever reason. You know, oh so, uh... <laughs> God! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Probably is there any... anything else weird around there? I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you've got a few, few yeah. things around. A few little little trinkets, yeah. <laughs> is there anything you want to say to the fans of your work over the years or on Black Myth or so much. But oh. thank you. Honestly, thank you to every single person who's reached out and said, you know, liked your character, hated your character for good reasons. Um honestly, um like for me. The f feedback really does me a lot. It, go it goes a yeah. long way. And it's because there's so many actors doing it. And the fact that you pinpointed me to be like, good job. Good job, James. That that's It, it really warms my heart. And um, like I've... Not to self... <laughs> not to self-insert my streaming channel, but like I started streaming because of Dark Tide, you know, because of the community. And the community I've built there of people are just so kind and just, you know nice about the stuff uh, that i do is it's it's surreal and i can't thank them enough i can't thank everyone enough who he says nice and even you dan you've been so kind as well and i can't thank you enough for the the kind words honestly because it's it is surreal that i get to do it and the fact that people are enjoying some stuff i do is is it's it's, it's truly humbling i've said i said humble a lot but it's true right. it really is I, it's 
Because you know, the, the the voice of Matt sometimes is like, you don't deserve this, James. <laughs> You'll never, you know. So it's when people are like, you know, I really like a character. It's like good. Someone liked it. <laughs> no, I haven't. No, what I, I don't. I don't invite anyone on the show that I don't think is talented. That's my um. Son know. of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he got me. So. <laughs> so no, thank you, man. That's very yeah. fun. The um, what you should do, man. You should uh, yes. You should um, play through the Black Myth bosses and yeah. record yourself playing through, you know, against yourself. My Pop wife said YouTube. the same thing. Yeah. My wife did say the same thing, yeah. When I get to Yin Tiger, I'll do it because I've just, I've just beat one of them. Bas basically, the entire oh, experience is me doing this. <laughs> so that, there's well, that that's one. The you got thing. that for, that's the got thing, that for yeah. free. <laughs> the problem is they're actually tough, so you've got to concentrate. You yeah, can't really yeah. be just joyfully. I can't talk right now. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, honestly, yeah, I'd like to like because I've not been streaming as much lately because I'm just with the baby and stuff. It's just you know just balancing things out. But I definitely would like to um do a little you know a boss retrospective with me playing them because I think it'd be quite fun and it's nice to kind of you know see voice actors embracing or experiencing the work they've you know yeah. done and also suffer suffering through some bosses <laughs> as well. You know. You know, it's, it's it's well deserved. <laughs> have you have you got any tips for me, man? We because I'm expecting we're expecting next year. Oh, and you, okay. how old's yours? Eight eight months. So she's eight months now. Oh, um, very cute. Ad, advice: um, you can have bad days and good days. Yeah, you know, you can have you can have days where you feel like you can't do it, and you start questioning things. But honestly, a motto we've we've grown to have is it's a bad day, not a bad life. You know, because do do we, you know you absolutely you absolutely won't regret having the child. It's just your stupid brain, or at least my stupid brain being annoying. Um, obviously support your wife because she's about to go through one of the most traumatic things a person can go through. So you know, um, be patient as well because the, a woman's body is a nightmare for at least a year hormonally. After so you know, there's gonna you get you're gonna you're gonna be you could you're gonna probably argue more than you normally do. But it's it's not like you know like it's just frustration and tiredness and yeah, also yeah, yeah, yeah. Sl sleep as well like sleep is a big Sleep's part a as well yep. yeah sleep is going to be rough at times you'll have the odd night where it's not and you know in enjoy it but also a uh, big thing as well do not fall into a routine do not people say have oh, a routine really? with your baby honestly do not force your baby to go to bed until they want to go to for the big nap at night. Like really? Ophelia, she 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 her bedtime's ten o'clock because that's when she wants to go to bed. That's when she wants to sleep at the night, and we can't. She's kind of like getting a bit earlier now, like nine ish, nine thirty ish. Yeah, but it's it, it's a case of just you know, end of the day, the baby has no idea what it's doing, and it isn't out to ruin your life, and it yes. definitely isn't out definitely isn't out to give you an awkward bedtime, you know, because <laughs> parents want to have the kid in bed at seven so they can have an evening completely understand it but then if your kid wakes up at five don't be surprised because they probably will be <laughs> you know so yeah, it's, yeah. it's 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 honestly and, and, uh, and every parenting experience is different as well you know your baby will be completely different to the next baby and that's that's true just not this yeah, yeah yeah it's and don't be so hard on yourself because it's a lot to learn it's a lot to learn dan mm. so don't be so if you're a slow learner like me you know i'm, I'm not the only stupid one <laughs> yeah, mate. we can be dummies together dummy dads together yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no mate but mate you'll be, no, you'll be great mate. Congrats, you've got good you've got and congrats to you man you've got a good disposition so i think you're gonna be just fine with the baby thank you man. you just want to do everything yeah. right don't you, you yeah just want to be... and and you're not you're gonna make mistakes yeah but exactly. as, long, as long as it's not like you know insidiously making mistakes <laughs> no, like, no. <laughs> you know you'll be fine <laughs> you'll be absolutely fine Thank you, man. Hey, so, before yeah. I let you go, you. yes, yes. Um, what are the chances of these four characters coming back to life to talk to Dan? Is that too much to ask? Absolutely not. All right. Absolutely not. What? What do you want? Um, done. <laughs> I don't know. What do you what, want done? Whatever. What are you wear? Whatever you can think of. Honestly, I just want to hear well, them one more time. All four of them have distinct. All right. So. I ended a long day of blacksmithing to come on here, so I'd like a bit of gratitude. If not, maybe we can have a little tussle in the field. 
I can whoop your ass one more time. Uh, <laughs> that is one of the greatest voices. I'm not, man. Thank you. That, uh, well, you, you, you think his voice is great? <laughs> I've been here way longer than that. Bare faced, stupid buff. Bah! Come have a drink with me and some apple. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Delicious. Uh, where, where, where am I again? What, what do you want? Hmm? <laughs> Don't be mean to Dan. He's nice. Dan Allen Gaming's my favourite channel, Pa. Don't hurt me. Oh, my God. I love his videos. Especially the one with her. Uh, what's his name? Um, the voice actor for Sindri from God of War. I love that one. Oh, you like that one? Yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did like that one. <laughs> why there did you go, like? Mate. Why did you like that one? <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. I think it's because uh, the actor's very insightful about his performance. He is, isn't he? Yeah, he I, I liked is. it when he spoke about the uh, the experience of being a dwarf. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> I heard a bit of um. Have you played Call of Duty Ghost? I heard a bit of Ghost in that voice. Then, Are you familiar oh, yeah, with him? Uh, May I'd love to do a voice in Call of Duty. You know that that's yeah. just that's just something you can. Yeah, yeah. Cause, uh, Ghost is oh, is it so Simon Wright? Is it Simon Riley? Yeah, Simon Car Riley. Character. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's like he's got that kind of voice, hasn't he? That laid back. Yeah. SAS member. One day, hopefully, one day. I need to start channeling my uh my main main character voice more. <laughs> We just start talking like this more for auditions. <laughs> well, the thing with games is you never know what characters. No, it's not always no. the main character that. No, no, it's, it's it? you know what I mean. Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, and it's also like a big thing. It's about subverting expectations for how main characters sound because you have that kind of generic main character voice you hear, yeah. but then you've got ones that are a little less obvious. Yeah, you know, they're a little more characterful. But I guess it helps to have a spectrum of kind of character voices in all games. So you've got at least various ones you can enjoy, you know. But yeah, yeah. we'll see. We'll have to wait and see. Who who knows what's around the corner for my vocal cords? Man, I can't wait to see, man. You're an absolute legend. Yeah. Thanks for the a great interview, no, man. No, you Appreciate are, mate. It's been it's been an absolute pleasure to chat. I've had uh, I've had a blast, man. Thank you so, so much. It's you're been a, amazing. You're an absolute legend. Make sure to follow James, everybody, and yes. look forward to doing it follow again me. soon. Yes, mate. Let's do it. I'm holding you to it. <laughs>